Okay. Uh, hi. So my name uh, is um, Robin, and my talk is a little bit off topic. Oh, I was also planned for 15 minutes, but um, I guess where it um, intersects with the security is when it comes to disclosure and uh, transparency. So what happened is uh, I was in Japan last year during the earthquake. March 11 um, was, uh, I mean, huge earthquake, tsunami. You all heard about it. Problems. So obviously a power plant blew up. That's uh, what's in the picture. Unknown situation. I mean, maybe there's radiation, maybe there's not. There's an outstanding lack of transparency from the government. There's no information. Nobody knows what's the situation uh, on the field. Problem, no equipment. So uh, Geiger counters were uh, sold out in, I guess, one week after the earthquake. Not in Japan, not in Switzerland, not anywhere. What do you do? So solution is um, get your soldering irons. Um, make sensors, but mobile sensors, where you can put them on a car and just drive around. So distribute these few sensors to volunteers. Lots of people with um, very high motivation to discover you know, what's around them. And then create open maps. So these are on the, the right, the Tokyo hackerspace with the people working on the sensors. So the sensor design we had was uh, fairly simple at the beginning. You take a Geiger counter, GPS, use Arduino to collect pulses from the Geiger counter, aggregate, I mean, get a pulse count, use processing on the netbook, and um, save all this to a file, upload it online, make a map. Simple. Uh, fairly big, fairly bulky USB cable get, getting in the way of in the car. Oopla. Can make it smaller, just keep the Geiger counter, the GPS, use an SD card, Arduino, save to file, make a map. Now, so on the upper left is, um, on the very left is the one, you can see the USB cable, the first prototype, the second one is a self-contained sensor. So uh, it fixed to the car by winding the window on two straps. So this is the same thing. There's a Miler window to let the, the radiation through. And uh, what you obtain is a drive-by science. So I guess you're familiar with uh, drive-by, uh, I mean, Wi-Fi discovery and stuff. So we do that with radiation. You can do it on, on bike or on foot. So this was in the exclusion zone. A very courageous person going there to um, collect data. So the, um, what's the efficiency of the system? It's uh, actually great. So we started roughly one month after the earthquake. After um, two, three months, we have a half a million measurements. Uh, today, we're over uh, five million points. It's the biggest data set that has uh, ever been collected. So we have an API, an uh, api.safecast.org. So the goal is to allow, in the future, crowdsourced uh, measurements. People can upload their file. There's a moderator system where we can check, uh, I mean, roughly, if, if uh, we think it's valid or not and decide to keep it or not. So um, different option, visualize it, make a map. And all of this is a CC0. Basically, it's public domain. You can download the whole data set. We hope it will be used for uh, science by universities and um, uh, research. So we also do all the hardware, the software. Everything is open source. You can get uh, the CAD files, the firmware, the map visualization tools. All of this is on GitHub. So please visit, and uh, if you like to contribute. So this is uh, also a new uh, visualization. So this is just Japan, well, I mean, north of Japan. So there is uh, the power plant, and uh, we can clearly see the trace uh, of the explosion due to weather patterns. And um, over here, I think it's Tokyo. So <clears throat> I mean, compared to having no information, this is um, really helpful. Lots of people would have banned completely, I mean, food that was grown in the north of Japan. That's also the, um, where uh, all the agriculture happens. But actually, you can see that the, the, it's not such a clear case cut, clear cut case. So really, depending on very fine-grained uh, localization, the situation is very different. Now, um, we evolved the equipment, and um, we have a kit, actually that will be for sale soon on Adafruit. 
Basically, it's just Arduino with GPS, some uh, OLED screen, SD card, and uh, rechargeable lithium battery, very small. So hopefully, this will be a... Uh... Is it over? Okay, go on. Okay, go okay. On. We have also open source Geiger counter. So this is a handheld Geiger counter. Um, stickers. <laughs> so the idea is you can measure, put the sticker, crowdsource uh, radiation measurements. This is all thanks to lots of volunteers that are uh, pictured here, small picture, actually much more people involved. And um, thank you.